Hi, welcome back to Examining Life. My name is Amanda. And this is Cookie. Welcome back to another Curiosity with Cookie. In this series, I ask questions about any given topic to spark curiosity. Today, we will be asking questions about identity and the self. There will be two episodes today. The first will focus on identity and the second will focus on the self. Before we get into today's video, I want to give a big thank you to all of my patrons and subscribers, and if you haven't already, please subscribe! Okay, so let's get into the questions about identity. What is your identity? How do you define your identity? How do others perceive your identity? How do you perceive someone else's identity? Is it ethical to impose your perceptions of one's identity on them? If it is unethical to do so, when it happens, what do we need to do to stop it? Is it always bad for others to define you? For example, if you have a child, to at least some degree that child defines you, such as a mother or a father or a guardian. To what extent is one's overall identity tied to intersectionality of various other identities, including one's race, gender, sexual orientation, occupation, income bracket, wealth, etc.? Do group identities define individuals? Should group identities define individuals? Do group identities define individuals? Or do the individuals within a group define the group identity? Is it important to prioritize one's identity? Is it harmful or beneficial to do so? What are your thoughts on politicizing one's identity? Is it ethical to do so? Is it unethical? What is the objective of politicizing one's identity? And is this done by the individual or how others perceive individuals? And is it possible to consciously depoliticize one's identity? How important are the group identities that we can control versus the ones we cannot control? Some identities that we can control include one's major, any given group that we decide to join, such as like maybe a religious group, a fraternity, sorority, and then versus group identities that we don't have control over, including race, gender, the wealth that we are either born into or not born into. However, some individuals can change that status over time through decisions that they make, such as saving and investment habits and other resources that one may acquire over a lifetime. Also, one can make the case that gender is within our control given that transgender operations are available. However, the main question that I have regarding this is do transgender individuals choose to be transgender? Or were they simply literally born into the wrong body and then have to change their body to match the gender that they feel? Okay, so going back to the previous example of occupation being something that is within one's control, but also can put them within a certain group identity. I make this case because one can make choices such as what to major in in college, where to apply, where to not apply, etc. One can do research in specific fields. Furthermore, one can reach out to specific individuals with whom he or she would want to network. And furthermore, we can also choose to some degree who becomes our mentors. However, one's occupation might not be in his or her control because even if he or she has all of the right qualifications, he or she might not be chosen for the job for whatever other reasons. So you tell me, is your occupation or other people's occupations in their control? And as mentioned yesterday in one of the meme Mondays, how much should our occupations define our identities? If career success or failure is not purely in our control, should we be rewarded or ridiculed for our successes and failures respectively? Despite any given group identity, whether it's in our control or not, to what degree can we make decisions in our lives that impact our identities? Do we have the free will to determine who we are as individuals? Finally, what exactly is the difference between the self and identity? Stay tuned for the next episode very soon. Is it ethical to impose your i- Oops, 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 oops.
Oh, hey, okay. Let's continue. Yes, let's continue, Cookie. She likes to arm wrestle. Thank you so much for watching this week's Curiosity with Cookie. What are your questions regarding identity? What defines you as a person? Let me know in the comments below. And please subscribe, comment, like, and share. Thank you. Bye. Say bye-bye.